Hi everyone, welcome back. So in the first uh, part, uh, we are going to now uh, see how we can get the keys to communicate with eBay and why we need that keys because we cannot call the eBay API directly. We first need to get the credential and there's a, a proper process to, to get these credential uh, on eBay, which I'm going to now show you in, in this video. So we need to go to uh, developer.ebay.com and they have a proper process where you need to apply and they will uh, uh, approve your request. And after some time, you'll get your keys. And once you get your keys, you're gonna get your ID, client ID and client secret. And based on that client ID and client secret, we can generate the, uh, uh, the JWT token. And like I mentioned in the previous video that once we get the token, we are able to communicate with, with, the, with the eBay uh, API and we can go through all all the steps that someone do on the portal we can definitely replicate the same same scenario uh, through the apis uh, and we can integrate it with with our own solution so the, uh, the, uh, the architecture we generally implement as part of our integration models right so you can i'm going to put that link in the in the description and you can uh, apply for your own keys i've already got my keys i've already used them i have tested them so what i'm going to i'm uh, going Going to use the sandbox and you can see i haven't actually generated the production key because once you build all your system your system is completely tested and approved by the client only then you go and you start productionizing otherwise it's just a waste of your resources if you create the key and even sometimes it's not secured that if your keys are compromised it might create some uh, damage uh, from the security perspective so Creating the production key is the very last step before you start planning to go live, right? So I have my client ID and I have my client secret, which I'll show you once we move to the project environment, where we're gonna keep it and how we're gonna use it without exposing into the code, right? And once we move it to the, into the cloud environment, we have this uh, key vault where we can key, uh, uh, save these keys securely. And then from there, we can programmatically call them during our program execution. And then uh, we'll do our job, right? But, but because right now I'm in that dev environment, so I'm gonna just put it still not in hard coding in my code because absolutely that's not a best practice. I'm still going to keep it into a separate uh, file just to mimic that. Okay, the if someone get my code, it's not going to show them uh, the keys or the security information that I'm using to communicate with the eBay, right? So that's the that's the first thing. Now, second thing, once we get our credential, the very first thing, just to decouple the complexity, instead of using directly into your code, the best uh, practice is to, to try to test the keys out of the program to make sure that the keys are working, right? Or you are getting the token because communicating with the API uh, through JWT has twofold. One, you need to establish the connection successfully and then you need to get the output and transform it based on your requirement, right? So if you go with both things together, it might uh, sometime create com additional complexity uh, for yourself, right? So the easy way is to decouple that first make sure your token is right your credential is right and then only you can move to your dev environment embed that information uh in your uh, api uh, code settings and then start calling the uh the api uh from from the respective uh platform one additional advantage that you're gonna see whatever outcome you are getting as part of the external testing of your API using that credential, you're gonna see the same outcome once you programmatically call that API. So as you know, the Postman is the, the most popular uh, platform to create and test API and verify your credential. So in the same uh, way, I'm also gonna use first the Postman. I'm gonna show you how you can uh, create and uh, uh, your uh, uh, API calls uh, through the Postman to the EBA API, and then uh, how you are going to get the token and how you can test that to, uh, uh, test the validity of that token. So that that's that's the whole concept of of getting the the uh, the uh, JWT token uh, using the application keys. So I'll I'll separate that video from this one because I don't want to mix two concept together. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how 
you can uh, use the Postman to uh, use the same client ID and secret that you are able to see in, in this uh, portal, which EBA has given to me. I'm going to use this client ID and secret to create a call to the uh, uh, to the uh, uh, eBay API and it will return me the JWT. It won't return me any outcome because first I need to, let me reiterate, I need to get the JWT token. Based on JWT token, I'm going to auth authenticate and authorize myself to start communicating with eBay. Right, so that that's the that's the uh, first step we have got, uh, covered as part of this video, and in the next video, I'll show you how you can do it through through the postman. Uh, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.